For me, the starting point of early modernity is actually the Mongols. I learned this from Ted Farmer. I think that um, the Mongols are completely underappreciated as, um, as uh, a kind of a transformative force in world history. And once you start from that standpoint, rather than the starting point of European overseas expansion, it becomes, I think, a lot more uh, obvious the ways in which you can talk about a kind of a common process that links China and the Islamic world and Europe and Central Asia, because that Mongol legacy is just so important in, in so many different ways. And um, as somebody from Wisconsin, this is the way I communicate this to my own students is to say that, um, you know, it isn't only in China or in India or in the Middle East that people even three or four hundred years later are still thinking about the Mongols and competing with the Mongols and trying to somehow recreate the interconnected world that the Mongols left. But Jean Nicolet, who is the discoverer of Wisconsin, he was a French explorer who in the year, I believe it was 1634, was still searching for the Northwest Passage. And the reason he was doing that was because he was trying to reach the court of the great Khan in China that he had read about from Marco Polo, okay? And he wanted to have something that would be appropriate to wear so that he would impress the great Khan. So before he left France, he had at great personal expense purchased a silk kaftan that he would wear when he met the great Khan. Now, as he was sailing across Lake Mich Michigan, which is a big lake, he lost sight of land, he managed to convince himself that he had indeed found the Northwest Passage. And so when he made landfall in Sheboygan, um, convinced that he was now in China, he put on his silk kaftan and he walked off the gangplank of his boat wearing his Mongol silk kaftan. And if you go to the State House in Madison, Wisconsin today, you can see a painting of this event. Jean Nicolet descending from the gangplank of his ship with all the Native Americans from Winnebago cowering as lights come out from behind him and he's wearing his silk Mongol kaftan. And so this really tells you the power of the Mongol legacy in driving the early modern world that even Wisconsin, even Wisconsin is being discovered because people are so desperate to get back to the world that the Mongols left behind. So this is, a, I think it's an underutilized narrative uh, lens for understanding what the early modern really, really is.